The Earth Splits. Spike! Uh, can we turn back? Uh, 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 Spike! All we see is water, no matter where we look. Uh, Don't cry, Melky. The spots and stripes flew somewhere over this way. That means the treasure's gotta be nearby. But we're already out of food. Uh, this is the last berry we have. That's the last one? Give it to me! Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, 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 no! What's going no. on? Ha! <laughs> Beautiful land. I told you, didn't I? Come on, my feathered friend. There's plenty to eat just up ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Happy <laughs> haunting. <laughs> land, land. Beautiful land. Oh, 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 how I missed you, land. Hold on. Spots and stripes have to be somewhere nearby. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Who are you? You fell right out of the sky. What are you running from? But, but, but running? We're not running. Nope, not running. You just said spots and stripes have to be somewhere nearby. Who are they? And why are you afraid of them? Wait, uh, afraid? Us? Oh, oh, why, yes, of course we're afraid. Spots and stripes are, uh, they're, uh, uh, they're horrible monsters. Worse than you. Hmm? Uh, I mean, you're better. Uh, they kidnap our entire family. Uh, everyone. Uh, and now they're hunting me and my brother. Right, little bro? Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> poor little us. Oh, poor us. <laughs> poor us. <laughs> Milky? What's up? Poor us. Oh, uh, yeah. Poor uh, us. Oh, <laughs> yes. Poor oh, us. Poor oh, miserable so little hungry. creatures. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hmm. We'll be more than happy to take you in and give you some food. Come along with us. <laughs> so go on and tell us more about the monsters you spoke of, the Spots monster and the Stripes monster. Well, well, they're, uh... They're, uh, I mean, they're, uh, uh, blah. Wow! Big eggs! <laughs> um, I'm, do, do those eggs taste good? Do they taste good? Are you being serious? <laughs> those eggs are platypus eggs. Those eggs hold our future children. Uh, no, 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 no. You misunderstood him, your platypusness. What he meant was that the Spots monster and the Stripes monster Really love delicious eggs for lunch. Yeah, lunch. And dinner as well. And breakfast also. What? But they wouldn't dare. Yes, beware the spots and stripes. It would be best if you attack them first. These monsters are going to regret ever stepping foot near our great village. Right, my platypus friends? Yeah, we won't let anyone take away our children. Well, we gotta go. Thanks for your hospitality, Toodles. Toodles. Come on, brother. Come on, come on, little Hey, guys. We need to go on a mission for reconnaissance. Great idea, Martik. In the meantime, we'll build a shelter for tonight. Tig, let's go. Where are you going? With you to do reconnaissance? <laughs> Martik, you're too young for reconnaissance. Why don't you go and help the girls? La 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 la. We're discovering a world of miracles and we cannot That's wait. not fair! I want to go on a reconnaissance mission too! I mean, after all, it was my idea. Cuba, we'll show them. You and me are not little babies. Come on! I wonder, do you think there are any monsters out here? Whew. Now that I've stretched my legs, I'm ready. Huh, huh. I'm ready to fight them. Huh. Hey, is anybody here? Hello? Where is everyone? Howdy. How are you? Hey, 
flu ooh, here. Ah, Hi. Ooh, ah, ooh. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, let us out. <laughs> Spots monster and stripes monster. They fit the description. They're really small for monsters, though. Hey, who are you calling a monster? <laughs> us? I think they're still children. Hey, let, let us, us go, go already. already. Hey. It's disappeared. One of the eggs has disappeared. Did you steal one of our eggs? We didn't steal anyone's eggs. They must have hid it. Where is it? Confess. You're not getting out of that cage until you tell us where the egg is, you monsters. We didn't steal anybody's eggs. Kuba. We have to find that egg somehow. But where do we find a missing oot, egg? Oot, oot, mice. <laughs> mice. Whoa. I know him. That <laughs> silly villain from mice. our forest. <laughs> but what's he doing here? Let's follow him. <laughs> Stealing their eggs! What a brilliant idea! Yes, it was! Yes, it was! <laughs> I'm a genius! <laughs> <laughs> now, Spots and Stripes will leave us alone. <laughs> it seems like local mice don't want me to find their hiding places. <laughs> well, if you say so, then let's keep flying! <laughs> the treasure awaits us. <laughs> of course! It all makes sense now. You keep them here. I'll bring back the ones with the beaks. Huh? Wait, wait, who's over there? <laughs> it's Kuba. Get him. He's all alone. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Spike, what do we need a boar for? <laughs> I guess you're right, huh? <laughs> hey, Billy. Come on, let's move. Get out of here. <laughs> the hell, we're overloaded. What are you doing? Get out of here, Kuba. Yeah, go away. Look, there's your way. Aha. Get those imposters. <laughs> Much, brave Martik and courageous Kuba. You saved our children. Please forgive our rudeness. Your enemies managed to deceive us. Martins can be like that. But how did they get here? Can you please tell us exactly where here is? Everything is so strange and so different. And you are all so interesting. Yeah, well back where we come from, only the birds have beaks like that. We're surprised to see you as well, but there's no need to be alarmed. There is an ancient legend that long, long ago, the land was once one, and it was surrounded on all sides by vast oceans. The ancient earth had all kinds of different animals and birds. Some were like you, and some were like us. Yet they all lived together, and nothing ever came between them. But then, disaster struck, and the Earth split apart. Parts of the Earth floated away on the world's ocean. You floated to the north, and then became Eurasia. Well, we platypuses stayed on this piece of land, which is called Australia. So that means this is Australia? What are the Martins doing in Australia? Villain, you keep flying. The treasure's nearby.
<clears throat> Every grass blade in Taiga is alive. That's because hidden inside it is the spirit of the Taiga. Hidden? How is that? Just like that. <laughs> the spirit of the Taiga is everywhere. In the grass and trees, on mountaintops, and even the deepest caves. The mysterious cave. Okay, here. No, they'll find me here. And here's where they found me the last time. And this was the one before that. Oh! Uh! But here. No way they'll find me here. Leo, look at this. Hmm. Tig, follow me. Oh, dear. Dear. Oh, dear. So, where's Mila? <laughs> Tig, have you seen her? Ah, oh, Mila, when will you learn to hide properly? The same place for the third time? Mila. Come on, don't be upset. I know. Let's play tag. No, no, no. One more time, please. The last one. Mila, this was the last time. The last, last time, then. The very last time. I swear. Six, seven, oh, eight, where should I go? nine, where ten, should I go? eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, ready or not, here I come! Aha! Uh -huh. Dig, I found you! Oh, hey, that's not fair. You counted too fast. No, 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 no! Here! 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 No, 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 no! There! What should I do? They'll find me here, too. Oh. oh, a cave. I'm gonna hide so well, they'll never find me. Oh! What darkness. Oh, boy! Oh, oh. Isn't this a good spot to hide? she would hide. It's weird. She's not here either. Leo! Look, I found some tracks. Wow, it's Mila's tracks. Follow me! Whoa. Uh-uh. I wouldn't go inside. Leo, wait! She's definitely not in there. Tig? Wait a sec. Look, it's Mila's flower. She's in there. Let's go, Tig! You sure? No way! Leo! Oh, come on! No, no! Oh, fine, you win, Leo! I'm coming! Ah! Oh, wow. Leo! Leo, you there? I'm here, Tig. You okay? Well, I didn't lose my tail. <laughs> Leo, where are we? We're in a cave, and Milo was definitely here! <sighs> <laughs> oh, it's so amazing! Oh, wow! Look, Tig! Whoa. You're on tracks! Awesome! Tig, hurry <laughs> up! 
lost. Oh, okay. Don't panic. You can figure this out. Okay. Uh, think, think. Uh, this way. Uh, uh. Mila, don't be afraid. I can do this. Don't worry. I'll think of something. I'm not afraid. Well, at first I was a little scared. But then I asked, and he helped me. And here you guys are. Wait. Who helped you, Mila? Well, I don't really know. I just thought that I was trapped, oh, well, but these pretty thing. crystals started to show me the way! Crystals? Mila, I think I got it! It's the spirit of the taiga! Remember Pantiga told us about him? He lives inside grass and trees, on mountain summits, and even in the deepest of caves and stuff! I know how to get out of here! We'll get help from the spirit of the taiga! The spirit of the taiga is the soul of nature. He's everywhere! Every grass blade and every rock is full of life. The spirit of the taiga cannot be seen, but he can be felt. He's always at your side, and he will help you, as long as you believe in him. The spirit of the taiga? Seriously? That's just a legend. Fairy tales made for children. That's it! There's no spirit. You're so gullible. Guess we're just gonna have to stay here forever. Tig, wait. Oh, spirit of the taiga. Would you please help us to find a way home? Oh. Oh. Thank you, spirit of the taiga! Now, guys, follow me! Leo, wait for us! <laughs> Leo, come on. Are you really gonna follow some bug? Like he can guide us outside. Leo. Tig, we'll end up staying here forever because of you. Why me? What did I do? Can't you ask the spirit of yours to guide us out of here a little bit faster? I'm getting hungry. Ask him yourself. Fine, I will. Nothing tricky about that. Listen, spirit, would you mind hurrying it up a little bit? <laughs> See that? See that? Wow, Tig. Okay. Great job. Couldn't you be more polite? Uh, right. Pretty, please? Oh, uh, Leo, what are those things? Those are... Those are bats! Hey, wait! Hooray! We made it! <sighs> well, Tig, how about that? 
exactly what you asked for. Really fast. Right. In the end, he's really nice, that spirit of the taiga. <laughs> and you didn't believe in him. <laughs> <laughs> Not true. I believed him. I was joking. Let's go home. Hurry up. You're unbelievable. The spirit of the taiga is everywhere. But only those who genuinely believe in miracles are really able to see him. Far away, in the infinitely vast expanses of the sky, high above the tallest mountains and the prettiest clouds, way up high is where the Red Deer lives. Sometimes he ventures down to the ground. The patter of his hooves makes the sound of thunder, while the gleaming of his silver antlers makes the lightning. Being always hungry, he tramples down everything in his path, devouring entire trees as if they were grass blades. Nobody is safe from him. So, if you see the red deer, run! <laughs> so there, that is how the story goes, kids. The Red Deer. Awesome! The thunderstorm's over! Yes, we can go out now. <laughs> well then, off we go. Goodbye, Mappa Pendiga. Bye, Mappa Pendiga. Bye. Bye. It wasn't scary at all, that story. I don't know. It seemed pretty scary to me. Where's Leo? Guys, come over here. <laughs> Leo, where are all the trees? I think someone ate them. Oh, it was scary. Evil. The red deer. Wow! <laughs> Yara, it wasn't funny. <laughs> on the contrary, very funny. Good, it's going really well. Come on, come on, come on! Push! Let's get another log, lads. Wow! <laughs> so that's where all the trees went to. Mr. Beaver, what are you doing here? Can't you see? We're building a house dam, obviously. Stay out of our way. And two, three. Whoa, look at that. It's a bridge. I've never been on the other side of the river before. <laughs> More reason, then, to check it out. Do you mind if we cross here, Mr. Beaver? Sure, go ahead. Just be careful. No, we can't do that. My mom says... No, she doesn't. You're just afraid. Stop making excuses. Tig, come on. Afraid? Me? I'm not afraid of anything. Hey, don't just stand there. Get back to work. Look at that giant tree. I've never seen anything so huge. Ah, oh, the great cedar, the father of the forest. Looks like a regular old tree. Let's go. <gasps> what if it doesn't want us to go any farther? <gasps> yeah, right. You make it sound as if the tree is magical or something. You don't know. What if it is magical? <laughs> Bunch of chickens. Me? Let's go. Told you. 
Nothing to be afraid of. Nothing at all. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> it was just a bunch of birds. Hey, what's wrong? That's what the magical tree tried to warn us about. He tramples down everything in his path, devouring entire trees. So if you see the red deer... where you are. Marty! You hear me? Marty! Huh? <laughs> we need to leave! So long. I hope they didn't get lost. No. Oh, look! Look! Over there! There's someone running! <gasps> Marty! Oh, that's my Marty! Mommy! I'm here! The trees are gonna burn down! Come on, come on, come on! And two, and three, yeah! And again! The red deer! It's too close! Oh, we're not gonna make it! Jump on the log, quick! Marty! Uh -oh. Leo, do we really have to go in the water? Take again! Really? <laughs> It's just that it's a little too wet. Tig, paddle on! Uh, I 
guess we pulled it off. We did, huh? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we did it! We stopped the red deer! Kids, are you all right? I was looking for you everywhere. The red deer is not to be trifled with. Mappa Pandiga, we are fine. You should have seen us take down the red deer. And we saved the forest. Meow. <laughs> Flying high. Whew. Almost ready. We just need to reinforce it from inside. Leo, let's leave it. It's fine like that. <laughs> hi, everyone. Glad to oh, see hi, you. Oh, hi, Mila. We're off to get more branches. You stay here and keep watch. Uh-huh. Uh, I got it. We've been gathering these branches all day long. If we keep going, the trees will be bare. I'm guarding the fortress. I'm guarding the fortress. I'm go... Who am I guarding it from? <laughs> All right. The spotty and the stripey went away. Hey, get on over here now, shorty. <laughs> this is our meadow now, with all its raspberries. What do you mean it's yours? The meadow is public, and the fortress is ours. <laughs> it used to be, but not anymore. <laughs> Martins, attack! Get her! No! <laughs> I'm not afraid of you! <laughs> oh, dear me! <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah! You nailed them, guys! Mila, don't be afraid! <laughs> I'm not, you know! Hold on! The help is coming! Martins, shoot down that, uh, butterfly! Oh, you're all alone now. <laughs> Go! <laughs> She's not alone. Ah, the spotted one. This is our fortress. It used to be. It's not anymore. So I've been carrying these branches for nothing? Martins, attack! <laughs> ah, oh. <laughs> And that don't come back. Yeah. You hear that? I hope you learned your lesson. And don't try <laughs> to scare me again. I can't believe this. We got beaten by the spotty and the stripey. Shame on our heads. Look here. This 
This is Beals' lair. Well, well, I've got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet! Mmm, raspberry. Nice, sweet raspberry. Lots of it. Lots of it! And then Mila screams, attack them! <laughs> Did you see me? I grabbed one of them. Boom! And that was it. The fight was over. And I'm like, don't you come back. <laughs> it was awesome! <laughs> That'll teach you not to get in our way. It's our meadow now, with raspberries and everything. So, hey, guys, does it mean that our meadow and our fortress, all of that is gone? Calm down, Mila. We'll get it all back. Yeah, sure we will. Wait, Leo, did you see it? <laughs> We're not strong enough. We can't beat Beals. I think I know someone who can help us. Uh, dear Mr. Beals, uh, we, we had a deal that half of the raspberries would be ours. Okay, okay. We get it. We totally get it. We do. We totally do. We're leaving already. Run! <laughs> 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 oh, no, kids. <laughs> I'm a bit too old to fight the brown bear. You are our only chance to beat him. Leo, let's give up and go to the river. Wait a minute. Mapa Pandiga? So there's no animal in the forest stronger than the brown bear? Ha. <laughs> Once upon a time, brown bears had no reason to doubt that. There was no animal stronger than them. So the brown bear grew vain and started to abuse his power, doing bad things. But for every power, there's an even stronger power. The spirit of the tiger always has his children's back. What do we do now? Search for the spirit of Tyga again so he chases Beals away? No. We'll get him ourselves. Okay. Mila, I need you to distract Beals. And Cuba, sneak up on his right side. <laughs> you, Tig. Look at who decided to visit us. Shush! That glutton kicked us out. He promised to share the raspberries with us. <laughs> Let me guess he didn't. Sure enough! Okay. Right now, we need to join forces and chase him away. Well, are you with us? For sure. We're with you. But we go 50-50 on the raspberries. <laughs> Oh, no! Ah! Help me! Ah! 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 
rid of Taiga? Yes. He came here to help us. <laughs> but how did he know? That's right. Run away. Go on. Run faster. The spirit of Taiga's gonna get you. <laughs> Bye, bees. Thank you for helping. You go defeat another enemy. For his valor and outstanding flying, Marty is rewarded with a delicious raspberry. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, these are good raspberries. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. An old friend. Six, seven, eight, nine. No, 11, here I'll be found 12, right away. 13, 14, 15, this won't work either. Oh, so where should I hide? 19, 20, 24, 25, and I'm done counting. Ready or not, here I come. All right. Leo, here I come. Wow, this is a sweet hiding spot. Tiggle have to look for me till nightfall. <laughs> Leo, there you are. Leo, catch me! Take me! So cool. Let's do it again. Totally. <laughs> Leo, where'd you get this nest anyway? From a tree. Where else? But what if this nest belongs to somebody? Well, you know, the nest is empty. And if it's empty, it means it's abandoned. <laughs> Yeah, we're coming! Just a second! Tig, let's just put it away now and come back later for more riding. All right. Push it this way. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna leave without you! <sighs> Mila, wait for us! Okay. So today, I'm going to tell you quite an amazing story. When the wind above the sea waves, when the wind above the sea waves starts to storm and rage, we will scare it off with shouts. Mappa, who's that flying over there? The crows? <laughs> You're a crow, Mila. <laughs> they are eagles. Easy, easy, children. <laughs> Don't fight. Those are storks. They are coming back to their nests after the winter. Hey ho! Hey ho! Hey ho! We're flying home, my friend. <laughs> It's so wonderful to see an old friend when you come back home. And who is that? Children, I want you to meet Theodore, an old friend of mine, a stork. Mr. Theodore, was it a difficult journey? Well, as they say in the far land of China, the journey to your family nest begins with a single wing stroke. You know what, children? I'm going to tell you the story of the stork. Oh, wow. I'd be happy to hear that, too. All right, then. Once upon a time, there lived a stork. Was he all alone? Yes, all alone. All by his lonesome in his giant nest. But then the stork decided to find himself a girlfriend. One day, high in the sky, right under the clouds, he saw a beautiful lady. Only it turned out 
that this beautiful lady is the daughter of the strongest wind who didn't want to share her with anyone. The wind came down ooh, and pulled the stork's nest apart. But the stork wasn't about to give up. He built a new nest, much stronger than the previous one. And that's when the wind realized that the stork is a worthy fiancé for his daughter, persistent and courageous. Ever since that time, storks come back to their nests every year, and the families they build last for their entire lives. Mr. Theodore, do you also have a girlfriend? Well, a stork with a nest has everything. You know what? Come visit me. It's close on the top of that hill. Tig, I have a bad feeling that the nest we found might have an owner after all. Really? And who is he? The nest is gone. Wha what do you mean, gone? Completely gone! Maybe the wind blew it away. No wind could do that! It was the sturdiest nest in the entire taiga! Oh, no, no, no. My Theodora's gonna be here any minute. Oh, you haven't seen her angry. That's it. It's all over. Don't you worry, sir. We'll help you. Leo and I will find it in no time. Let's go, Tig. Leo, where's the nest? How should I know? It used to be here. Weird. It couldn't have just disappeared, could it? Stop! Do you hear that? <laughs> That's so awesome! <laughs> Did you see the shorty fly out? <laughs> come on, come on, come on! Let's go! Let's push it up! Come on! Hurry up! Push! Push! <laughs> come on! Let's go! Uh, hey, you! Give us back our nest. Your nest? <laughs> hey, Martins, did you hear that? Oh, yeah. The spotty and the stripey make nests now. <laughs> I can't even believe it. It's not yours or ours, but the nest does have an owner. Give it back. <laughs> right. First, catch us if you can. <laughs> We're asking nicely. Give it back. Hey, you are. <laughs> Tig, we're in so much trouble. Oh, no, no, no. Is this all that's left of my nest? No, no, no. Children, you should be ashamed. We didn't throw it down from the tree. They did. That's right. They did. <laughs> That's a great way to put it. Mappa, we were just playing hide and seek and then it fell down. I didn't mean to. And then we just thought that it had no owner. We are very sorry. Yeah. We're very sorry. Please forgive us. Wise men would say that there can only be a wrong path, but never a hopeless situation. But this is the end. The oh, children, children. Mappa Pandiga, we're going to fix everything. Oh, listen, guys, I've got an idea. Leo, is this one nest material? For the roof? Sure. And these? Just perfect. Put them there. Okay. Right. Spike, let the spotty and the stripey do the work. That's right. What are we here for? Stop asking and start collecting. All right. A little more. Okay, and one more. Good. Mila, you need to stop. It's already pretty. Tig, call him. Okay. Ooh. It's done! Come and have a look! <laughs> the 
creeks bring more light, and following spring, I also came back. It's such a surprise. Hmm. <laughs> well then, wanna race? The first one to that bush wins! Come on! Going on the count of three. One, two, three! three. <laughs> no, wait! That's not fair! <laughs> Goodbye, Theodore. Have you come up with an interesting question? I spent all night thinking, but I still have nothing. I've got a question, but I forgot it. Hi, Theodore. Do you also want to listen to Mappa? No, oh, no, my friends. I just wanted to say goodbye. To say goodbye? Ah, it's September already. Today at sunset, our flock is flying off to the warmer lands. Over there, at the Blue Hills, is where we meet. Whoa, it's so far. You call this far? The warmer lands, that's really far away. Several days of a strenuous flight through heat and cold. Through winds and storms. All right, children. What questions have you prepared for me? Today, as promised, I will answer the most interesting one. Who's up? So what? No questions. I've got one! Mappa Pandiga, why do storks fly to the warmer lands for the winter? Good one, Leo! <laughs> Wonderful. That is an interesting question indeed. A long time ago, back at the dawn of time, the weather was always hot on Earth. But then, the climate began to change, and animals started to dress in furs and feathers. Those who chose feathers learned how to fly and became birds. Later, it turned out that the feathers are not good for keeping you warm in winter. But the birds didn't want to give up their plumage. They wouldn't trade this new and magical feeling of flying for any fur coat, no matter how warm or beautiful. That's why, ever since that time, every year, many birds have to fly far, far away to the warmer lands where they can stay till the harsh winter is over. I'm so glad I've got my fur coat. There's no way I'd be flying to the warmer lands. Oh, so pretty. Where did it come from? That is Theodore's feather. But without it, how can he fly to the warmer lands? We need to return it. Give his feather back. Can we make it? We don't have any other choice. In that case, let's go, guys. of something. No, Leo. Just no. Why not? Jump now, Tig. Don't be scared. I'm gonna jump first. Okay. As a gentleman, I'll let you go first. Huh? 
Oh, wow! Why did I never jump like that before? <laughs> Woo! But this is... so high. Leo, I can't do this. I'll just wait here. All right, Tig, stay there if you want. But could you catch the vine first? Good job, Tig! Jump now! Get me out of here, Leo! Hold on! Hold on tight! Tig! Tig! I'm coming! got caught on a thorn, so he couldn't jump off. That's right. Caught on a thorn. is so thick. I can't see anything. That's it. They're leaving soon, and apparently we're lost. Mm. What about Theodore? The feather! The feather! Grab it! Quickly! Ugh, what good is it now? We're late anyway. There's no way out of this fog. The magic feather! It's trying to show us the way! We're running fast to help a friend We always stick together And when we cannot find our way Please guide us, Magic Feather And if you are in trouble, friend Don't worry, don't be sad We'll always come to help you out and things won't be so bad. Oh. Then let them say that birds and beasts can never get along. The friendship has no boundaries. We love you, Theodore. La 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 We'll walk right through the darkest woods, through fogs and rains and more. We'll cross the fastest rivers to, to get to Theodore. We're running fast to help a friend, we always stick together. And when we cannot find our way, please guide us, Magic Feather. <laughs> That's really funny, Theodore. You're friends with a tiger, a leopard, and a lynx. I don't believe you. Where could he go? Leo! Yara! I have really bad luck today. First, I got caught in a thorn, and now I fell into this deep pit. I'm so sick of vines. Where are all the storks? Are they already gone? Oh, we didn't make it. Quick, here! 
<laughs> you don't have to believe it, but I do have wonderful friends. We made it! <laughs> we found your feather. You lost it, right? Yeah, this is my feather. But why? I think you can't fly without it. Oh, no, Tig. One feather wouldn't affect the way I fly in the slightest. So we came for nothing? No, not at all. I'm so happy, my friends, that you came to say goodbye before I leave. And this feather is for you to remember me. Goodbye! And good luck, Theodore! <laughs> When the wind above the sea waves, when the wind above the sea waves starts to storm and rage, we will scare it up with shouts. We will scare it up with shouts. We will scare it up with shouts and continue on our flight. Put me in charge of collecting clothes. No. Let's go. Martens, no. target detected. The spotted one and the striped one. Get your best cones ready and shoot. <laughs> Thank you, Spike. Now we have enough food supplies for the whole winter. Let's go to Mappa. Oh, he'll be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> what now? <laughs> he says enough food supplies for the whole winter. <laughs> Whatever. Spike, just to be clear, when are we going to start stocking up on food? We are not. Martins never stock up on food. Martins use their brains instead. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Good job. Well done. It's great to see how many cedar nuts you brought us. In the taiga, food stock is the most crucial thing. Without it, you can't survive winter. When the blizzard comes, you will all be grateful to me. Where will it come from? Yeah. Where does the blizzard come from? Where is her home? Mappa Pandiga, tell us, please, where does the blizzard live? There's not much to tell, really. The blizzard lives in her icy castle on the top of the highest mountain, where snow doesn't melt all year long. And when the winter comes, she goes down into the taiga. And then... Be careful not to make her angry. If the blizzard gets angry, bad things are coming. She will freeze everyone and turn everyone into ice. No one will be spared, neither animals, nor birds, nor trees. They say once the entire taiga almost died because of its icy breath. Chilly. What if that's the blizzard getting angry? The... the blizzard? Angry? That's just a fairy tale, right, Mappa Pendiga? Maybe it's a fairy tale, or maybe it's not. Leo, where are we going? We have to find the blizzard and find out what made her so angry. Look, there is no blizzard. You heard, Mappa. It's just a fairy tale. <gasps> Did you hear that? That's her. The blizzard. Hide now! Baby girl! Baby 
girl. Quickly, quickly, hide the food stock before the blizzard manages to find it. Go ahead, hide them. <laughs> They're gonna be ours anyway. We just need to come up with a plan. Come on, Spike. Think. Mappa Pandiga! Mappa Pandiga! We know why the blizzard is upset and angry. It's because she lost her only daughter, Blizzy. We need to find her. Then the blizzard will stop being angry, and the tiger won't freeze. Ah, good idea. Okay, so the blizzard lost her only daughter. <laughs> Very interesting. I think I've come up with a plan. They're gonna give us all their stock themselves. Follow me! wants to find you so badly, they will give up everything, even their food stock for the winter. I want my mommy. Spike, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> You're supposed to watch the Blizzy. Don't let her out of your sight. <laughs> what is she doing? I don't know. Probably just wants to play a bit. Look here. No, stop. Oh, here? give you the blizzy, and in exchange, you give us all the food you've stocked for the winter, and everyone's happy. So, how do you like my plan? How do you like my plan? Have a taste of this. Wait now, Tig. We need to get blizzy back whatever it takes, or else the tiger might come to an end. What about our stock? We'll have to find more then. Spike? We take the deal. That's good. This is my kind of conversation. I've always been saying, you just need to use your brain. Spike, the blizzy <laughs> fell into a cave. What? Say what? A little more, and the whole tiger will be frozen. We need to get Blizzy back right now. Here. This is where she fell through. We'll have to follow her down there. Down there? Into the icy labyrinth? No! The icy labyrinth? Leo, we're not going in there, right? I will go. Oh, no way, Leo. Uh, okay, I'll go too. I'm just gonna get some cones first, because there are, you know, all kinds of bats and also spiders. <laughs> Boy, do I hate all these labyrinths. Lizzie! We should go right. Let's go right if you say so. Blizzy! Another dead end. There's no way we'll be able to find her. And even if we do, we won't make it out of here. Get up, Tig. We have to move. Uh, where on earth did those two go? <sighs> See, Shorty? It's all because of you. Why is it always me? She started it. <laughs> And who is that? Oh, Leo, look here. It's a cedar nut. So it means we've already been here before. A cedar nut? Wow! Tig, you're a genius! Me? Well, I mean, thank you. Okay, give me the cone. It will help us not to get lost. All right. So we can use the little nuts to mark our trail. I come up with the best ideas. <laughs> Tig, this way! We found her! <laughs> mommy! Where's my mommy? Hey, don't cry. You want your mom? Let's go. We know the right way. My 
baby girl. You're back. Thank you. Hey, look! The frost is thawing! The blizzard isn't angry anymore! Yeah, we did a good job. Hmm. <laughs> there. Now we are definitely ready for winter. Look at that! with the feathered ones. about. You stop your chittering right away. We can't get no sleep. Shoot, shoot. Pipe down, you hear me? Uh, who's flopping their trap this early in the morning? They, they did, did it. it. Quiet. Stop yapping. Hey, you. Seems to me like it's you who's yapping here. And the birds are singing. No one can sing this nice in the whole forest. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Shoo, feather freaks, get moving. Your presence here with disapproving. Messing with my sleep, foo. Well, I say shoo. Sing now, birdie, sing the song. Sing about the thing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Shoo, feathered one, shoo. This is our forest, not yours. You disturb our sleep, so once again, shoo! Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. This is our forest, ours only. Feathered ones need to go! Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you sing? Sing and whistle to a dance. You'll bring spring into our land. Forest flowers <laughs> need to hear just how lovely you can sing. This is our forest, not yours! You disturb our sleep, so shoo now! This forest is not all yours, so stop being so bossy! Leave our feathered neighbors alone! Well, how about this, huh? And this! What are you doing? Stop it right now! <laughs> I'm the boss around here, you all got that? Is that right? Well, you're not the boss of me! Yeah? <laughs> we run this forest. You all got that? I don't think so. Uh -uh. Come on, you all got nothing on us. <laughs> Take this, you striped wool sack. What? I'm going to show you. <laughs> Wait, I have no time for you right now. Leo, check your six. Watch out. Ooh. Oh, stop it. Cut it out right now. Stop <laughs> leaving. The birds are leaving. Can we have a time out? <laughs> What's this? You give up? Now you know who's the boss around here. Not you. You just wait and see. Everyone, get back to the base. It's time to draw up our battle plan.
and Yara, you wait over here. Mila, you run over here and draw them into a trap. Now are we going to have to stay in here forever? Why forever? In winter, the squeaky mosquitoes go to sleep. Mappa Pandiga, what sort of squeakers are these anyway? And what are these mosquitoes? Good oh boy. My great-grandfather told this story to my grandfather. One day, the spirit of the tiger's own brother, Amber, was visiting him. But Amber was so evil that the animals of the tiger didn't want anything to do with him. It made Amber very angry, so he made up his mind to punish the animals. He summoned swarms of mosquitoes, squeaky mosquitoes, for animals had nowhere to hide. They went to complain to the kind spirit of the tiger. The spirit of the tiger asked Tiger to deal with the mosquitoes. <laughs> the tiger couldn't do a thing. The squeaky mosquitoes were too small and too fast. Then the spirit of the tiger sent leopard to fight them. Whoa. And then wolf. But they returned empty-handed. Then a little birdie flew to him and said, can I try? The spirit of the tiger agreed. You can, my friend. The birdie unleashed a mellifluous song, summoning the birds. Answering the boisterous call, the birds filled the sky, their wings flapped with vigor, and their beaks snapped with thunderous might. Not a day passed when the mosquitoes disappeared. The squeaking mosquitoes were gone. I know what we need to do. We gotta get all those birds back to the forest. I just don't know how we're gonna do it. We hurt them really bad. So that explains why there's so many mosquitoes in the tiger. <gasps> okay, what did you guys do to the birds? Well, we first tried to defend them from the martins. We really stuck it to them and made things much worse. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> 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 The spirit of the tiger come to us. Oh, come to us, spirit of the tiger, and help us. Help us lest the tiger dry up and become a desert. Come on, go on. Oh, the great spirit of the taiga, please help us to bring back the birds to our forest. We'll always treat them well and never harm them. And we will protect them with our lives. And I beg you, the great spirit of the taiga, please, please. I miss hearing them sing so much. We will cherish each one of them. We'll never take them for granted. Great spirit of 
I get it now. It all makes sense now. The mosquitoes are scared of the birds. Build your nests. Go on, build them. The best spots are right here, next to our home, our hollow. Here, here, and over here. Sing now, birdies, sing this song. Sing out loud, let's sing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you see? I'm already fed up with this snow. Tig, it suits you. Spring is over, and it's still freezing. Uh-huh. I really miss all that sunshine, too. <laughs> and I miss the flowers. Come out, sunshine. Where did you go? <laughs> I'm sure it will come out just for you. There once was someone in the taiga who the sun listened to. <gasps> really? How exciting! Tell us more, Mappa! Come along with me, kids. The Sun Folk. <laughs> Who are they? This is the Sun Folk. What kind of folk? Sun Folk. These animals lived in the taiga a long time ago. It is said that they descended from the sun itself. In cold times, when the sun used to stop giving warmth to the earth, they used to send the Chosen One, the strongest and fastest one in their tribe, to talk to the Forefather and ask him to turn up the heat. And the Sun listened to him. But, Mapa Pandiga, how did they talk to the Sun? It's so high up. There is a valley of geysers behind the Quick River and the Big Swamp. And in the valley lies the magical sunstone. They used it to communicate. Mappa, where are these sun folks right now? Nobody knows. Some say they left these parts a long time ago. But others believe that the sun folk is still among us. They just forgot about where they came from. There, look. To me, this chosen one looks like Leo, don't you think? <laughs> You're right. He does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kids. Let's get going. It's getting chilly. Wee. <laughs> Leo, Leo, stop sitting around. Come play tag with us. Tig, I still can't get the Sun Folk story out of my head. <laughs> Try to think on the run. It will warm you up a lot. Just listen for a sec. What if I, I mean, leopards are the Sun Folk? And I'm the Chosen One. You, the Chosen One? Why not? You said yourself that the one from the picture looks a lot like me. Well, he does. It means I have to go to the Valley of the Geysers and look for the Sunstone. Leo, it's very dangerous to go to the Valley. <laughs> Guys, come on, try to understand. If I am the Chosen One, I have to talk to the Sun. Otherwise, summer will never come. Whether you're the Chosen One or not, this much, I know. We're not going to let you go alone. Yeah, Tig is right. We'll go with you. No way. I'm not gonna go in that water. Let me think. 
I'll come up with something. A raft? Wow, Cuba. You're a genius. Leo, what are you doing? Hop on the raft. You forget, Tig. I'm the chosen one. I have to find the sunstone by myself. I got this, guys. <laughs> we finally made it to the big swamp. I'm sure that this whole swamp is already frozen or something. Whoa! Maybe not. Leo, where are you going? I'm jumping over it. Leo, that's crazy. Come with us. It is safer together. Don't be afraid, guys. I'm the chosen one. I totally got this. Whew. If this so-called sunstone does not exist, you're giving me a piggy ride back. Uh. 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 Leo, uh. you might want to be careful. Uh. It's okay. I can do this. I am the chosen one. It's okay when you use teamwork and avoid taking unnecessary risks. Uh. Huh? Oh, Leo, are you coming? Yeah. You guys taking a nap? Let's go. Oh. Okay. Now Leo will crawl up to his hunk of rock, say hello to the sun, and then we can go home. Hey, guys, what about the geysers? What about the geyser schmeisers? They won't stop us. <laughs> Mama didn't say that they were hot. The Sunstone! Found it! Leo, wait for us! Ow! They're singeing my fur off! Leo, watch out! Jara, I'm the chosen one. I'll come up with something. Leo, you tried hard, but you see, there's no way to get through. Let's forget about the stone. Let's go home, okay? Uh, guys, you go. I'll catch up later. Chosen one. I got this. I can do this. I'm sorry, Leo, but it seems even the chosen one can't do it by himself. But together, we got this. Come on, push. <laughs> 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 Do it! Leo, do it quickly. Ask the sun for some warmth. No, we should do it together. One, two, three. Hello! Excuse, Excuse me, sun. sun. More heat, heat pretty please. Be a pal, would you?
together, we just asked it nicely, and the sunshine came out. By the time we came back, everything already bloomed. Nicely done. It has indeed become much warmer. It was Leo's idea. <laughs> he suggested we go to the Sunstone. Thank you, friends. Without your help, I just couldn't have done it myself. Ah, kids. As they say, the one without friends is like a tree without roots. And always remember this. Two heads are better than one. Tiger Patrol. Know what I was thinking, Leo? Ah, how our dear Tiger is so vast and beautiful. Right you are, Tig. I've been wondering. There must be other countries. Of course there are, kids. Mapa Pandiga, can you tell us something about other countries? Oh, that's very interesting. Just for an example, there's a place where it never ever snows. <laughs> yeah, right. Next thing you know, you'll be telling us that striped deer live there too. <laughs> Do they ever? But there aren't deer. The horses. Listen here now. That land is called Africa. It's full of wondrous animals. A giant with a leg instead of a nose. A toothy lizard the size of a huge log. A beast with a neck so long that it can eat the leaves off the top of a tree. And although they look different, they are similar to us. Just like us, they are friends with each other. And they too love their land. Sometimes they get into trouble and so, I've heard that for times like that, they have a special team of heroes in Africa. They're called the Guardians. Should any animal need help, they come to the rescue. They are always ready to help. These Guardians are known around the world. Wow, it must be great to be a Guardian. I wish I were in that, what do you call it, Africa? I would love to be a guardian. Tig, we don't need Africa. Let's make a team of our own, right here, in the taiga. Wow, Leo, that's a really cool idea. Leo and Tig, guardians of the taiga. No, Tig, the guardians is taken. We have to call ourselves something else. Something for the taiga. Well, how about the taiga patrol? Ha! Awesome! The Tiger Patrol comes to the rescue! Ah, <laughs> I just can't! Spots and stripes down there! <laughs> the Tiger Patrol! <laughs> That's hilarious! <laughs> Enough! Just... just go away! No, 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 no! You'll fail anyways! You'll make fools of yourselves! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> That's <right>, you'll fail! <laughs> Leo! So who are we gonna help first, huh? <laughs> Here you go, Mila. Oh, hi there, boys. Thank you so much. We're not boys, Mila. We're the Tiger Patrol, and you can let everyone know. Come on, Tig. Let's go see if someone else needs our help. Children. We are the Tiger Patrol. Look at them, huh? Soon everyone will be talking about these do-gooders. Let's just, let's just throw cones at them, huh? No way. I've got an even better idea. Come on, come on, laugh, good. Hello, Beaver Bro. Do you need any help on your Beaver River? Huh? No need, thank you. 
We can manage just fine. Goodbye. All right, Tiger Patrol. If we're not needed here, let's just go. Yeah, the Tiger Patrol. Well, now that changes everything. You put that log over there for me, please. <laughs> just be careful. <laughs> hey. Sound the alarm! Yeah, we've got a leak! Oh, my dear! How unfortunate! <laughs> Get lost, you! Get out! You were playing not a patrol! Uh, so you're the Tiger Patrol? Sure! Who else? I am so glad that you're here. Some wasps built a nest on our tree. Now we're afraid to go back to our hollow. Help us, please. Ha! Piece of cake. We'll move it for you, no problem. Tiger Patrol now? Nothing better than knowing the whole tiger respects you. Here, here, here. And, and like that. Here. We'll help you, and we'll deliver it right to your burrow. <laughs> we are the Tiger Patrol. Ah! Ah! Help us! Help us! Ah! What's wrong? Ah! We just want to help you. The beavers and the squirrels. Confused. Did we even help those squirrels? Tig, I think I know who's behind this. Uh, Spike, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Setting a trap. Spots and stripes will be passing here soon. And I've got a surprise for them. <laughs> Spike, Spike, quiet. <laughs> I really set them up, eh? Now the name Tiger Patrol makes everyone run scared. <laughs> I knew it. You're just up to your old tricks again. And you are going to pay for this, you imposters. Ha! <laughs> I bet you can't catch us. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to lead them to the trap. <laughs> hey, Spotty Patrol. <laughs> You're going to be banished from the Tiger for good. That's it. You're going to get it for good. <laughs> Trap! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Patrol! Are you there? Please help us! Pretty please! Oh, please. <sighs> no way! <laughs> Stay there and think about what you've done. Hey! You can't leave! Don't go! Please come back! Oh, Mappa, nice to see you. We are the Tiger Patrol. <laughs> Heroes. Can you tell us where we can go to help somebody? I don't know, kids. Ah, maybe the spirit of the tiger will tell. He knows this forest well. How can he tell? <laughs> he doesn't even talk. Of course he talks to you. With signs, you just need to learn to see them. Someone out there needs us. Thank you, Mappa Pandiga. Tiger Patrol, to the rescue. Patrol, please, any patrol. Just get us out of here. <sighs> Who needs help here? Oh, I can't see you. We're, We're here. here. Help, help us. us. Quiet down, will you? We won't be able to hear. If anyone needs help... They are the ones who need saving. Who do? The Martins? But they're the ones who built this trap to capture us. And now we're supposed to just save them? Yeah, we want to do good deeds. And they just hurt everybody. Leaving someone in trouble. Ah. 
That's not a good deed. No, that's not what heroes huh? should do. Spike, why did you get in the way of Leo and Tig? Because everyone's talking and talking about them. Yes, that they're so kind. Yeah, so nice. We want praise. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. Leo, Tig, why don't you put Spike and his brothers on your patrol? Mm, well, I don't know. Please take us on, and we'll be sure to behave. We, we promise. promise. All right, fine. You can join. <laughs> but only so we can keep an eye on them. Well done, children. All righty then, Tiger Patrol. Let's do it! Good deeds can't just go and do themselves. <laughs> That's what the spirit of the tiger says. <laughs> 